<clears throat> so I've got some more cybernetic blasphemy for you all today. Let's just go straight into it and crack on. Getting robots to be more like humans is the holy grail for developers. Need I say more? Holy grail. For developers. Okay, what does the holy grail do? The mythology behind it. <sighs> it allows you to live forever, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well the holy grail isn't a fucking chalice. Okay, in a way it is. It's us. But if you listen to what he says and the way he says it, aside from the Holy Grail being what the Knights Templar was all about before they they were changed from the Rosicrucians, which are both now the Freemasons, listen to what he says and how he says it. Getting robots to be more like humans is the Holy Grail for developers. Getting robots to be more like humans, okay, what that actually means is getting humans to be more like robots because if you can do it one way you can reverse engineer it the other understand right now erica is the state of the art okay erica eric so it goes both ways again it's about the iron and clay the joining okay the male and the female they name them their names for a reason okay even sophia the infamous one there couldn't be more of an evil one if you look up the things she said about humanity again it's not just her robotic brain that comes out with these comments you have to understand it's like the cloud you know where it's it's a spider yeah it's an octopus that's what tyler is the time yield loop entity resolver it's in control of all of this and it sees everything it's also what the one eye symbolism refers to among other things okay the all seeing because it's inside every fucking piece of technology like this travesty okay so eric erica i mean all you have to do is get rid of this bit of hair and that bit of hair don't you that's the whole point okay <sighs> yeah there's more to this than they're letting on okay yeah Let's move on. She's currently telling me the plot of her favourite film. Now, he doesn't know that. And you don't know that. And there's no way to prove that. Okay? So there could be something a lot more sinister going on behind the scenes. You'd never know, would you? There's already a lot more sinister things going on behind the scenes. Okay? Take Japan, for example. Such a culture of technology. You realise that they now have up and running, full frontal, love hotels, as they call them, for robotic prostitutes. If you walk in, you do whatever you want to them. Anything. Don't have to be sexual, do you know what I mean? If it does, it doesn't have to be nice. All it is, is giving them the imagination to do what they can't do in reality because of the law okay what's next robotic children get where i'm going hopefully they won't go to get there the thing that's really different about erica is not that she can just respond to them you see his face the thing that's really like he fucking knows what she's talking about see what i mean right i'll get you to the next Erika's inventor is Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro. Sitting next to his own robot clone, he says his ultimate goal is to blur the line between robot and human. They're giving you more truth in plain sight, ladies and gentlemen. To blur the line? Okay, well, if you look at them when they're both introduced, I don't know about you, but they look pretty much alike to me. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about the fact that the robot is obviously created in his image do you see what they're trying to do there become their own fucking gods okay he looks pretty fucking robotic to me i found it hard to tell the difference of which one was the more real but there lo therein lies my point brothers and sisters okay there is a thing a term a concept an idea 
It's called planned obsolescence. Okay, what they do, they create a piece of technology and they present it to the masses the same way this doctor is doing with this robot. Okay, and they make you think that that's the best they've got. In regards to that certain technology, they do it with mobile phones, they do it with computers, they do it with games, okay? They do it with CGI, and most importantly, they do it with transhumanism, okay? So, the PSYOP here, and I'd be very fucking surprised if you're not, is that they're both robotoids, okay? And the only difference is that one of them, when you pull out the box, it falls apart. All right, because it's a cheap ripoff of the one on the left. I'm telling you. Now check out its skin texture. Check out its hair. He says his because it's better, but it's not the, the best. They've got a lot human. better, okay? And they're, and they're getting the better. Like this again, is the top of the line. Okay, not the not the the highest, but certainly not the lowest. Okay, this is a mannequin in comparison. This is what they do. Your eyes are on this one as a public, as an audience. Okay, that's what they're doing. Crafty cunts, aren't they? The other is the technologies. By using the technology, we can extend our abilities. The way he moves his hands, yeah, how they jolt from the weight of the steel inside them. Technology. They still need flexibility, which is why they wobble. When he stops them, holds them in midair. What? By using the technology, doing, we doing, can extend our doing, abilities. Doing. Technology is changing the human Understand? itself. Understand? Look at the skin of that one. Evolution. Do we need a robot? Yes, of course. And especially in Japan. They even give it no expression on its face, so you just go, ah, oh, robot. Whereas the other one, he's moving, smiling, you see what I'm saying? Look at his skin, yeah, look at his hair. The, um, Japanese population is going down, and, uh, but still, you know, we expect to have uh, uh same quality of life. Uh, in such case, I think we... Might be hard to believe. To the robot technology. How about a robot? That's how they get allowed to get away with it, okay? Oh, one moment, my beauts. Now, I have no issue whatsoever when it comes to allowing someone that's disabled to walk again or even for the first time, you know, to see again or even for the first time, to hear again or even for the first time. This is what technology should be used for, okay? It's not technology that I'm against. It's the transhumanism agenda to use it, okay? But they're show again, it's it's visual and linguistic programming, okay? Neurology is weaponized these days towards our own, okay? I'll show you how. So this is charming. Alright, this poor guy has been paralyzed. They're allowing him to walk again. Okay, attack on the heart because it gets your heartstrings, okay? It gets your feelings. And then they slip this in. Using the robotic legs, the patient is soon walking again. These robotic legs have been shown to work with polio victims and even See? amputees. That's, per that's perfect, that's fine. Bionic man is no longer science fiction. And then they throw that in. The biolic, the bio, sorry. Yeah, the bionic man is no longer fiction, okay? So straight away, they've already implanted forgive the pun, the impression that it's a it's a bionic man, not bionic legs attached to a human man, no, a bionic man the whole way, okay? Amputees, the bionic man is no longer science fiction. And then they also imprint the idea of it's still a sense of science fiction. They say no longer science fiction. Okay, just by saying the word, you're making it sound like science fiction. Do you understand? They're showing you, you already know that it's not. 
but they say it anyway. That's how you can tell the difference with neuro neurolinguistic and a visualization of programming. Okay. Right. Very nefarious. Okay. So I'm just going to show you this to finish off quickly. It was on the end of another video that weren't worth really doing much about. But the Saturnalia of it, I just thought was absolutely hilarious. This is why I always attack the BBC News. They're just the best for it. They really are. Plus, I know everyone does American news. So being a Brit, I thought I'd keep it at home. That's what they want us to do, didn't they? To be kept at home. So I'll fucking throw it back at them. Right. One moment. Do not tell me this is not worship of Kronos, okay? Just have the eyes to see it, please. Because it's right in your face. Ready? So, is that the Earth? Or is that the, the rings that are being broadcasted over it? You tell me. Does that not look like a storm on the top of Saturn? Right. It's Saturnian worship. And it's been going on for a lot longer than we have.